what business you're in. Because as a speaker, we tend not to think about the fact that we're entrepreneurs, that we're business people. So if I ask you what business you are in, what business are you in, Deshaun? Okay, black e-commerce. What business are you in? Who's back here somewhere? Yes, Lynn. You're in the travel business, okay? What business are you in? Anybody over here? Real estate, okay? What business are you in? Nutritional supplements. All right, everybody listen up. You are not in those businesses. Did I set you up? I set you up. Because everybody answers that question just like that. In real estate, you are in the business of providing something emotional. And we buy on what? Emotion. We don't buy on logic. I don't drive the car I drive because it's logical. You don't wear the clothes you wear because it's logical, because it is not logical to pay $700 for a pair of shoes. Is that logical? Nope. <laughs> There's nothing logical about that. So the first thing you have to understand as a speakerpreneur is that what you, the business you are in is an emotional business. So you've got to figure out what your brand delivers emotionally. I'll give you an example. Starbucks. Anybody drink Starbucks? Okay. I think if you would agree, and if you, certainly if you ever go to Italy, you would know that Starbucks does not have the best coffee. But what they've created is an experience around their brand. They've created an experience around their brand. I walk into Starbucks, I don't even drink coffee, and I go to Starbucks. My car just, it just goes to Starbucks. Because they've created such a powerful uh, promise and experience around their brand that you go there, right? You walk into Starbucks, hello, Miss Harris, what are you having? A tall, non-fat, they know your name, they got the music playing, they got the Ray Charles playing, they got the little chess game going, and it's an experience. You have your business meetings there because Starbucks has done one thing really well. They've created an experience that people want. Are y'all hearing me on that? And as a speaker, if you create an experience that people want, you will get paid a lot of money and you won't be speaking 500 times a year. But the first thing you have to do is figure out what your brand is in the marketplace. What experience are you creating? And so when I said, what emotional business are you in? People who sell Mary Kay are not in the business of beauty. They're in the business of feeling good, self-esteem, self-image. People who sell insurance are not in the business of selling insurance. They're selling safety and security. People who sell shoes are not selling footwear. They're selling comfort. So everything is about an emotional experience. Everything is about an emotional experience. That's why we go to church. That's why when I go to churches that don't, where I don't have the experience that I'm used to having, I can go, I can do it, but I always feel like I'm missing something. It's an emotional experience. And if you can get people emotional about what you're talking about, then they will part with their money, they will keep bringing you back because they want that experience. So let me have some folks who, who wrote down the one word you want people to, to say when they think of you as a speaker. What's the one word? Yes. Go get them, okay? And how will they see that? By what you do. So physically, what, if I saw you on stage, what would make me say, he's a go-getter? What would you physically be doing? Okay? Okay? Did y'all hear that? He said, charging the crowd, energizing. You can't create an experience if who you are doesn't do something for the crowd. And you can't say that you want people to see you a certain way if they don't see that manifested physically. I've had people say, you know, I'm really energetic. And I'm like, really? When? When you're at home? When, you're, when, when are you energetic? Right? So it's like, it's like Myron was saying, what you do speaks so loudly I can't hear what you're saying. So what you're doing as a speaker has to be very clear to the people who are in the audience, or you can't claim that as a part of your brand. Does that make sense? You can't claim that as a part of your brand. You may want to be energetic. You may want to be dynamic. But if I don't see that, it's not real. All right? If I don't see it, it's not happening. All right, so identifying what your brand is in the marketplace. All right? 